first you get in the first you have training wheels get in, on your bike. You have training wheels <laughs> before you get the thousand cc Yamaha. You know, it's a little different. The fact that the result is that people don't get to try to get it together. It was sort of like a, a crash course in how to become a jet pilot when you had never seen a jet before. <laughs> and the way they did it was they dropped you in there, took you up and said, the controls are yours! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Barrel rolls! <laughs> Immelmans! <laughs> you know, <laughs> tail spins right into the ground sometimes. And uh, But psychically, you recover from all those. I guess if you're tough, and I guess most of us were, Occasionally some people weren't, it's unfortunate, but because of the way in which it was uh, undertaken in those days and the fact that we used to take huge amounts of acid, we used to take you know, 250, 300 mics or more, Kizzy preferred 400 or more. And uh, Albert Hoffman told me that, that was a substantial overdose. I says, yes, in retrospect, you realize it was, but... What do you consider an optimum? Oh, I don't know. People... Nowadays, seem to take around 100 or 150, something like that. All I know is that the result is that people, it's, you know, it's like uh, first you get in the, first you have training wheels on your bike <laughs> before you get the 1,000 cc Yamaha, you know. It's a little different. The fact is, the result is that people don't get so crazy, I guess, but it's not everybody gets crazy. Some people crash, and